All right, I'm talking to Eddie Tucker, who is the charge of the Amen, Amen Ministries here at the church. Um, so, have you plan on plan on voting this year? Yes, I am. And um, do you mind me asking who you're going to vote for? Well, I'm going to go with uh, the Democratic Party. Uh, Obama is the uh, front runner on the Democratic Party, so I'm certainly going to go with him uh, in, in this sense. And when and when did you start supporting Barack Obama? Uh, well, from the onset, it was uh, between he and Hillary Clinton, and uh, whichever one that came uh, rose to the top. At that time, I would be in full support of it because of the Democratic Party itself and because of what they're standing for, and, and more especially because of what they're trying to do in terms of change the uh, direction that the country is going into. And when do you plan on voting? Uh, it's going to be today. This is Super Sunday in Texas, so I'm going to take advantage of it today. Uh, just got back from South Africa, so I'm going to have to take advantage of it today because I missed the early vote prior to that. And earlier in the year, Barack Obama gave a speech about uh, black men needing to take personal responsibility for their children. Um, can you explain exactly what you do here at the church and tell me how, if you feel his message is helpful? Uh, I, I think, uh, well, it, it, in his speech about black men getting more responsible, it's kind of like exactly what we do here in the ministry. We're trying to get men involved uh, into church as a visible so that people can see them working and toying around the church and being visible as men working with a ministry so that children can see them taking an a, a, a active part in working at the church. So if uh, uh, Mr. Obama spoke that uh, black men or men in general should get an active role uh, in the community and with their families, I think that was a very positive uh, role to take at this particular time because we as black men, we do need to get more involved uh, in our church, in our children, in our communities and things that are going on in the uh, upkeep of our neighborhood. And um, being a black man, is it extra special voting in this election? How's that? Is it extra special voting in this election? It is. Well, I, I think uh, b because uh, I'm in my early 60s, uh, it, it's most uh, rewarding to me to have lived in two lifetimes. One lifetime where I was fighting for the right to vote, and then a lifetime where I'm fighting to vote for a candidate that has my interests and America's interests at heart. Uh, so yes, I, I think this is a, a very special election for me because I march for civil rights, I, I march for apartheid to end, I march for a lot of things to change in this country. I was part of the uh, voting uh, right initiative that when it first came out in 1964, uh, fighting for that. So this is a very, very, very special time for me to be involved and engaged at this level. And then voting for a candidate who is actually a minority in some sense and a majority in another. And um, what was the first election you voted in? Uh, the first election I voted in, my God, now I'd have to calculate my age and go back some. Uh, uh, I was uh, 18, and oh my, I, I, can't, I can't really recall that particular time. Uh, I, I can only recall prior to 18 that uh, we were uh, marching and pushing forth the selection for uh, Kennedy to become uh, president. And that was my first active uh, role in uh, projecting and fighting for uh, people to get out to vote. Voter registration was in California and, uh, and inside of the inner city. It was a lot of, of work to need doing it. So we were pushing very hard to get voters out. And that was early uh, in, in the 60s, 63, uh, around that time, I think, uh, or early in the 60s. That was the first active role that I took into politics. Shortly after that, I turned 18, of course, and began to vote, uh, and been voting ever since, every year. And finally, are you fired up? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm more than fired up, because what I do, I see America going in a new direction, not because of a black candidate, but I see America going in a new direction based on the type of issues that we are talking about. We're talking about health care. You know, we're in the richest country in the world and you have children in America 
doing without food, doing without health care. So I think one of the major issues for me is that America seemed to, from the white, black, and Hispanic, and brown, and yellow community, we have began to address the needs of people that we are, uh, that are our constituents in business and life. We have an enormous amount of wealth, but we have poverty within this country. We have sickness within this country. We have children who are being abandoned and abused in this country. And there's something wrong with the system that we have. So I think it's time that we address the system of health care, daycare, and more especially uh, assisting single moms and assisting fathers in prison. So that's very important. Yeah, it's very important to me. Thank you very much.